I've got to introduce a topic of complexity, okay? How many of you uh, have an idea of what complexity means? Okay, so the best way, actually, I'm going to try to skip this. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is, no, no, because they're, they're, they're going to read the slides. Okay, good. Uh, they're more interesting than me, this is why. Uh, uh, that's another uh, trick using complexity. So how many of you know what complexity means? All right, so we have about what? 30% of people, okay, typically you have as many definitions of complexity as number of people you ask, except if Yanir Baryam is among them, in which case we have three additional definitions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so complexity, you know, I, I, it, it's very hard to define. It's the kind of thing that you recognize when you see it. And, uh, but it is a very rigorous uh, uh, approach to things. So then, before uh, I introduce Yamir, and then I'll, I'll give my, my two minutes, and my two cents of how does it connect to a Syrian problem, uh, and, and why I'm trying to apply it to a specific uh, thing. Uh, Yamir has pretty much you define complexity. You define Yamir as a typical, uh, you know, uh, uh, agent in that, in that game in the sense that it comes from physics, and and these people start studying uh, study models in physics in which the the, the behavior of the details matter very little in, the, in defining the whole and scale matters a lot. And Yamir is probably one of the most influential in the field. Would you say you were one of the top three most influential? Okay. He has, <laughs> if you look at it, he has papers, he just published a paper on agricultural prices. Okay. Uh, he also had papers on the microbiology. We have a paper on risk. We have he has papers on on what there are pretty much papers on a lot of things. physics, a lot of social dynamics stuff like that. Things related to application of uh, his toolkit to uh, various phenomena. Extremely well published. I'm very honored uh, to have him, you know, uh, discuss the problem. And uh, and now and, and, and uh, let me try to put some connective tissue about what is complexity or how does it apply to serial problems. The first thing you learn. About the behavior of a complex system. You know, conventional science studies interaction. They don't they study interaction. They study, okay, I'm gonna find, if I punch someone on the nose, what happens, you will bleed, and stuff like that. You don't have that conventional uh, uh, reduced science. With complexity, you study interaction between components. And, and sometimes, and often, these interactions swamp the <coughs> individual behavior. So, uh, people, when they study political systems, make mistakes if you ignore complexity. And the first one is scale. Okay, let me remove this so you don't keep uh, taking notes. The first one, that was, uh, uh, these are mostly for me, not for you. So I, in case I have, uh, I have a, a uh, amnesia, so I can, I can remember what I'm talking about. The first one is scale. Now, uh, you know how an elephant looks like, no? Okay, if there's an animal that's very small that resembles an elephant, what comes to mind? Mouse. Mouse. Mouse and elephant look very similar. The difference between them is scale. Now, a mouse would behave very differently from an elephant. Uh, a mouse is much more uh, robust than an elephant. An elephant, uh, uh, you know, uh, can be extinct very quickly. So you have, so the first thing is scale. So when people compare political system, China to Singapore, they don't realize that effectively communism has succeeded in Singapore. And the difference is that people compare political systems <coughs> rather than comparing scale. For us, scale comes from the foreign political system. That's the first thing that, that will, you know, is counter to how you guys view things. Is that for us, Saudi Arabia and Dubai is probably the same people because of the difference. Okay. So it is a scale matters more than the nature of it. That's the first thing. Okay. And I'll, and and, and the Amir is going to talk about scale. The second point. Okay. Uh, the, at the scale, if you look at scale, the city state has an ecology that's extremely different from that. It's not a small state. The city state is a different animal. The way city states interact, the way they foster commerce, the way they do things, is very different from having a nation state. The nation state is a very modern uh, experiment. Started late, you know, in the, largely in Europe in the 19th century, and I think it will come to an end soon. Okay, especially in. In the now, organic systems versus command and control. So let me explain one thing. You, you, you've seen ants before. People have the illusion that, that there's a, a queen, the queen ant. What's the job of the queen ant? To boss them around, tell them what to do? Sorry? Now, what's the job of the queen ant? 
Sorry? That's it. Okay. Reproduction. Right. So there's no who's the boss in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an ant colony. There's no boss. Right. It's a system. It's a system that works by itself. There's no way you can figure out how an ant colony works by looking at individual ants. You're never going to figure it out. Yet it's a complex system. And you have what we call emergence. The level of the system things are different from level of components. Okay. So. When we look at uh, 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 organic versus command and control, we have the illusion, we always have the illusion that systems are run from the top. Usually, systems run from the top itself, uh, they, they, they fall apart. And that's one other problem with Syria. My, my problem with Syria isn't what's going on now, it's that the French came, Aleppo was the wealth, one of the wealthiest cities in the world, probably not the wealthiest. I mean, I'm saying through history. I'm talking about that region of the world throughout, uh, you know, the Asia. And, uh, and by 1800, I think, it has highest, enough standard of living, you know, compared to, say, London, okay? something like that, something crazily high. And it was its own ecosystem, and it worked well. And the French came in and convinced the Syrians that they needed to imitate a top-down centralized system where everything is decided because it's more efficient. At the Soviet, you know, like uh, you know, uh, look in a Soviet-looking building, and that's why Syria. Was born. So the tragedy of Syria isn't so much in modern time and, and, and the different religious uh, struggle as much as it is the stupid idea that the French gave them. It's more efficient to have a efficient, uh, more efficient to have a centralized state and series of, of self-governing city, what we had under Ottoman and or Roman uh, days, and then. Uh, and, and what works well effectively is having like an ant colony where you can have an incompetent person at the top without it affecting things. So the person with a big ego is very nice, like the President of the United States. You know, affect foreign policy, which matters for you, but day to day, no, it's no big deal. So if you have Donald Trump, don't panic too much. Right? <laughs> if you live in the United States. All right. So, and then finally, mixing. At, at, The, the mixing uh, of things. The, 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 it was. One, of, one, of the, one of the problems of Syria, or one problem that we have in the East, is that some people people don't understand how communities work. That effectively, to have something stable, you have to have uh, the, the, the Hebrew expression, or each one should be king of his own thing. And that's what Yanir is going to be talking about, is how communities mix that how people are much better uh, neighbors than roommates, and then how that vast illusion of wanting to integrate everybody has backfired and really created a religious differentiation that did not exist before. So this is pretty much what, how we can apply complexity theory. Now, I don't know what Yamir is going to be talking about. I mean, disagree with Robert, but at least the approach is a healthy approach to get rid of the stupid uh, 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 apparatus that we have inherited from uh, I don't know, 200 years of, of glorification of a nation state and efficiencies and Soviet style uh, things. 